what is up people welcome back to the channel all right so you got yourself a new whoop or a new flight controller and the first thing you do is flash the flight controller <coughs> and that's where all the problem comes in so in order to save you from all that pain what you want to do is just leave it as is especially these happy model ones but if you're a first time flyer and first time with dealing with fpv drones then i suggest just fly them as is this is the biggest thing that everybody should do because these have been tuned specially for your personal enjoyment out of the box so you don't really need to do anything except just making sure that they are bound to your radio so i'm going to share with you a couple of steps on how to get this done or if you have accidentally reflash the flight controller and come across an issue hope you enjoy the rest of the video now the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your radio and the drone is bound and before you do this you want to make sure that the firmware is of the same version and this isn't specific to express lrs if this comes with a v3.3 then this one has to be a v3. Point something now if this is v2 then this one is v3 then make sure that this is v3 so that it'll match the firmware and this is the same as any radio if, if you have an express lrs radio or an express lrs module it is the same and you want to download the lua script into your radio and you want to use that lua script to communicate with your radio and the quad So now we go into the binding process and there are several versions of the binding process that you could do. One is to make sure that your Express LRS is updated and if you are updating the Express LRS, make sure your binding phrase is placed into the radio and you can do this by Wi-Fi. Now once your radio is set up, you need to bind to the whoop. So again, it's a similar process. You can update the firmware by Wi-Fi. This one you can do by UART by plugging in the whoop to the computer or a third process is the tree plug method where you plug in your lipo wait for the light to go off unplug plug in again wait for the light to go off unplug and plug in for a final time and it will go into binding mode so all you need to do is turn on your lower script on your radio and click bind it should be bound like in a few seconds if it doesn't something's wrong somewhere firmware is not accurate next you need to check onto your tiny whoop or micro or whatever you're flying make sure your aetr or taer is synced to your radio if you have one of them different the tiny whoop on the screen of better flight will start spinning crazily and finally make sure the orientation of the drone is correct as you turn the drone you could see it on better flight pitch forward is pitch forward pitch back is pitch back your right is your right your left is your left roll left roll right if this is different then you need to adjust the degrees and make sure that everything is in order once that is done, you need to check on the motors, make sure that they're spinning in the correct direction. Check the props and make sure those are spinning in the correct direction, which is the same direction as the motors. Motor orientation, one, two, three, four. Check those two. Once all that is done, everything should be good to go. Right, so I hope those simple processes help you in troubleshooting with your drones, your quadcopters, tiny whoops and micros or whatnot. And if there's any question, please feel free to comment down below. Or join me in the Discord channel. And a big shout out to Amino Acid, AI Guy and Chris Bridge and all those of you in the Discord. You guys are just absolutely amazing. Thanks for the assist. Till the next video, thank you all for watching and see you guys again soon. Ciao.